Yo, it's your boy 10. It's 10 heavy P. Let's talk, man. I'm giving y'all a visual right now. Yeah, we in the back. Beautiful day. I know this Remy stuff been kind of crazy, but we about to talk about it, get into it. Apparently, it's about to get crazy for a lot of people, man. Um, getting word that the trenches is over with. Um, I know she's taking a break on Chrome for a minute. She gonna have to get ready for an attorney for her son. And uh, that's about to be a nice little bag, man. Like, I ain't gonna, have, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She, she about to have to, you know, and this Remy Ma. So these attorneys gonna like wait, they gonna they gonna come at her. But I gotta say this, cause uh it's bad for battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I knew back in the day she was using easy to help fund her mail a bit, which was the trenches. Um Chrome 23 was supposed to be for the females, but apparently that got in the right part. Y'all hear the choppers and all that. Y'all know what time it is. I'm standing doom 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 Yeah, y'all know that West Coast. Yeah, y'all already know that West Coast. You understand? But now let's let's keep it going. But apparently, we knew she was funding the trenches, using that as her male league and the Chrome 23 as her female league. Now with all this happening and taking place, that pushed things on hold. Um, I know she had a car coming up, and I believe it was. Allegedly, K. Sean and Cassidy, Easy and Ill Will, A. Verb and Av. Quite sure they probably had to throw that money back. She might have cut them a little something for writing already. Um, yeah, niggas got to regroup it for a lot of niggas that was talking trash to URL and shitting on them. Got to do an about face right now. This is where niggas probably hitting Beasley line. Like, yo, my nigga, can I get back in there? Oh, yo. Hey, sorry about that. This is where it's about to go at, man. I mean, it, 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 just sell itself. Trenches is over. She was funding it. Easy was, you know, pump faking for you niggas. He was gaslighting everything. Like, yo, he was the man. He was doing it. She was just caking on the nigga. She was just caking on the nigga. And he was using it. He was using her as the, you know what I mean? As his connect. And she was using him as, you know what I mean? The face. Like, yo. You lure these niggas in here. We gonna rack them up and, you know what I mean? Deal them out. That was the whole plan. You know, but that that's not over with. She can't really focus in battle rap, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. Not with what she dealing with right now. She dealing with a process of her son can possibly spend the rest of his life in a maximum state penitentiary. She don't like that, man. So battle rap ain't nowhere where she want to be standing at with a bunch of young kids or young, young adults or whatever, whatnot trying to impress them and so they can look at her like a fish in a fishbowl to see how effective she is from all this. She ain't trying to do that shit. You understand? But for that, the trenches is over with. A lot of these battle rappers got a fan for themselves. And I see it happening. You can tell Twitter been dead. Battle rappers really trying to see and figure it out. So for those that was getting a little bag in the purse, I don't even think these small and mid-tier leagues won't even invest in these guys because it ain't really no money in them right now. It's almost like if you ain't on Smack and if you ain't on their platform, you ain't really doing shit out here. See, ARP and the Bricks is struggling over there. They like the only ones in Twitter trying to fight to try to like and get the culture going. But who going to book the matches? Who going to book and set up all that shit? Because a lot of the Bricks over there, they got to they gotta get there themselves. It's almost like a tryout situation. And a lot of them niggas ain't really made, made. They ain't official. That's one thing I know between ARP and... Steers, I mean Steers, Steers really pushing niggas and he making niggas into something. ARP whole roster been off of URL. So, and with Remy, she was trying to give niggas a platform based on ARP was leaving. But with, you know, with her going through this, this just put battle rap all in the term oil. We probably won't get no more battles out of easy. And if so, I'm quite sure he gonna have to go down to some low leagues, mid tier, like, Small leagues, maybe we might see more gates of the guard and some eye battle shit, you know, because they connected to the URL app. It's just gonna be some shit out of his character, out of his ordinary. Definitely, if he want to stay relevant in battle rap and he want to stay getting some kind of financial asset and gain in the culture, I mean, it's just gonna be what it is. He gonna have to adapt. 
He can't be the big boss that he was or what he was trying to portray. You understand? He ain't Murder Mook. He ain't Lodi Lux. And you damn sure ain't Tay Rock and you ain't Sue Surf, nigga. So, I think he hatched his eggs a little too early. And then, like I said, for a lot of the battle rappers that tried to follow in footsteps and get on the URL, hate Benji and Bandwagon, they going to pay as well. I mean, it's going to be a lot of ass kissing that's going to have to... You don't think Smack seeing all this shit? Smack is seeing everything right now. That's one thing he doing is taking notes on behalf of like a lot of you niggas tried to play with me. A lot of you niggas tried to play with me. A lot of you niggas took me for some joke. And you think he want to let y'all niggas in like that? A lot of them niggas that was on that card that was depending on Remy to get that look again, get back in that spotlight. They sick with it right now. A lot of them niggas needed that moment. A lot of them niggas needed that shot. A lot of them niggas was depending on that look. Trust me when I say that a lot of them niggas is hurting right now. A lot of them niggas don't like Smack either. They don't like what Smack doing. They don't like Smack. And Smack don't like them. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Smack don't like them. And I can't sell that. That shit sell itself. And he ain't kissing ass. So he kind of like way on the side of the fence. Well, he kind of hoping that you know y'all fall. Y'all prayed on his downfall already. And he knew what side of the fence y'all took. Y'all took Remy's side. And like, like y'all here, she's stepping away. She got to focus on her son. Her son is in a situation. So where that leave easy? You understand? He ain't cool with smack. ARP done retired. He going to go to KOTD? Is he, is he going to go to Organic? Man, well, no. That's what I said. Battle rap looking crazy. It feel like it's pretty much over until Smack dropped the next big card. Now I do hear Mook and Hitman is booked for Homecoming. I am getting word on that. Mook and Hitman is booked for Homecoming. Um, Danny and Flames is booked for uh, King versus Queen. Danny and Flames gonna be kind of dope, man. Like I ain't gonna lie, that's a good style clash. Lyrical bars. Yo, I just like it. I just like it. I think it's going to be a real good conversation, her and Danny, man. I like that one right there on the female guy tip. No, ain't about the names and the glamours. It's Flames and Danny. You know what they come in to do. They come in to wrap their ass off. They about to wrap up a bunch of Christmas gifts on your ass, for real. So with that being said, man, salute to that. Salute to Danny and her on that. You know what I mean? Uh, Mook and Hitman is on homecoming. That's my take on that you know what i'm saying so that's what we should be getting that at so it ain't nothing but url got all the mega matches in the cut they got all the ma mega matches on deck you know and until that come around battle rap is pretty much quiet it's in a frenzy her car was supposed to be happening i don't know if it was late this month or be somewhere in july but either way like i said that's not happening so y'all got a huge gap from here and on to here on to august till url produce some shit other than that, whatever the mid tiers dish. Oh, Black Ice Cartel got something they about to do. Um, they got an event they about to, you know what I'm saying, they putting together. John John's card, I hear about it, but ain't a lot of promotion to it. Like I said, none of these niggas ain't still doing no face-offs and shit. <laughs> the face-offs ain't cracking either. They ain't selling this shit. They just putting out flyers and goddamn names. That's all I see. And that's another, like I said, battle rap is far from getting on, you know what I'm saying? Back on that, it's, it's far from getting on that that type of, it's far from it, man. Y'all got to figure this shit out. And Remy ain't did nothing. She just was one that everybody knew that, yo, we don't know how long she going to last. And we see now, she didn't last too long, man. This is, battle rap is a serious game. So with that being said, man, yo, with that being said, salute to Smack, man. That's all I got to say. Salute the URL, salute to Smack Beasley and them. Y'all stay tuned and tuned in to what they got to come. King versus Queen and Homecoming, man. Y'all hear it, you know what I'm saying, right here first, man. You know what I'm saying? That being said, man, it's your boy, nigga, Miss 10 p Sony HD. Pay, pay, motherfucker, you, y'all. Floyd Mayweather season, nigga. I ain't come for half, nigga. I need to hold damn thing. You heard? Holla back. It's your boy, boy, chit. Glick, glick.